Welcome back to Science Made Simple. I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist. Today we're going to learn about surface tension. Now there's two demos we're going to do in today's video, so you'll want to stick around for both parts because they're both pretty cool. Here's what you'll need for part one. You'll need water, liquid dish detergent, a plate, and some black ground up pepper. Surface tension is the tendency of fluid surfaces to shrink into the minimum surface area possible. It's because of surface tension that you might see something like a leaf floating on top of water. Or you might even see an insect and some animals running along the surface of water. Surface tension also causes water to behave differently inside certain types of containers like a thin tube. We call that the capillary effect. Surface tension can be decreased by adding soap, and that's what we'll be demonstrating today. Follow along as we do these demonstrations. They're pretty simple, but they're very cool. For this demonstration, it's quite safe, so there's no need for goggles or gloves. Pour some water in your plate. Now, Sprinkle black pepper onto the surface of the water. Put a drop of liquid dish soap onto your fingertip and place your liquid dish soap covered fingertip in the center of the plate. Notice how the black pepper immediately moves away from your finger. That's because the surface tension near your fingertip decreased due to the liquid dish soap, and the pepper was carried away when the local surface tension changed. Well, that was pretty cool, but how do I know the surface tension is being affected by the soap and not simply my finger? Well, let's try an experiment. So, we can do the exact same demonstration, but this time, let's try it without putting the dish soap on our fingertip, and let's just dip our finger into the middle of the plate with the pepper. I hypothesize that the pepper will not spread out like it did when I had the soap on my fingertip. Let's give it a try. Make sure to repeat the process just as we did before. But this time, we won't put any dish soap on our fingertip. Notice how the pepper does not move away from my finger like it did before. Looks like our hypothesis was correct. Stay tuned for part two of our discussion on surface tension, coming soon.